Kirill and I pushed the wedding date up even sooner than the 90-day window requires. I'm getting married very shortly. <laughs> and, like, I, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for that moment. Hand in hand, together, finally. Unfortunately, her family won't be able to come to the wedding. Or we are going to uh, use video chat to actually almost like broadcast the wedding and the reception. Oh, it's bon. So hopefully, this will help them feel that they're part of the wedding. You look beautiful. Today my, is my wedding. Finally, it's, today is day coming. I think every woman wants one day put wedding dress. When I put my wedding dress, I feel like my dream was be a true. Everything's been leading up to this moment. Seeing her walk down the aisle, all the pressure of the 90 days, the K-1 visa, the hassles of the chaperones, it just melts away. We are all here together, family and friends, to pay tribute for the time that they took to prepare for this day. Alan? Kaylin, you taught me how to love. You sacrificed everything for me. I love you with all of my heart. Okay. I'm sorry, but I will speak just in Portuguese. Foi fácil me apaixonar por você. Você é a pessoa mais gentil e mais amável que eu já conheci. Você me deu de ser sua esposa. Eu te amo. She, she basically said she loves me. <laughs> it is my pleasure to present to you Alan and Kirlian. Oh. <laughs> it is the bride. <laughs> oi, mãe, oi, pai, oi, gente. <laughs> Say hi, guys. <laughs> Our wedding was everything I hoped for. My Family, I mean, was there. yeah. Your parents were there. <laughs> they were they were seeing it. <laughs> now it's time to celebrate. <laughs> Let me introduce you to my wife, Kirlian. My husband. I was so excited to see Kirlin. The dress was lovely. I felt extremely happy to see Alan get married today. Congratulations. Oh. They seem so, so happy together, and I'm so happy I don't have to chaperone anymore. No more air mattress for me. <laughs> we don't have to abstain from sex anymore. On the other hand, it's, it's kind of nervous. It's my f first time sleeping with Alan, and I don't know, <laughs> just, yeah. <laughs> Our honeymoon's gonna be in Hawaii. Whoa. The, the dude. Hawaii. Uh, Hawaii. 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 <laughs> Our honeymoon's gonna be unforgettable. We gotta, we gotta go, okay? Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Good. <laughs> mm.
Let's go. Let's go. Today is my wedding day, and I'm really excited about it. I have a beautiful wedding dress. Oh my God, do I look pretty? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my God, Rose, I love you so much. No matter how hard is the situation, if you love that person, you can be happy with the person that you want to be with. I'm not nervous about getting cold feet or anything like that. I know that I love Pal and I know I want to be with her and I want to spend my life with her. Getting in front of people and saying my vows, that's what I'm nervous about. Thank you. Oh my God. being here tonight, Russ and Pal, they're gonna read to each other some very special vows that come <laughs> from their heart. Me entrego a ti como esposa este día. Prometo amarte, respetarte y serte fiel hasta la muerte. Hoy, finalmente, puedo expresar que feliz me siento. My first, my last, my everything. I vow to love you more and more each day, and as each day passes. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love you, baby. I you love are you amazing. Let's see if I can get through this. <laughs> <laughs> My wish has always been and always will be to, kiss, to keep a smile on your face and bring happiness to your life. Te amo con todo mi corazón. Amor. You will always be my first, my last, my everything. Russ, pal, by the powers vested in me by the state of Oklahoma, I now pronounce you husband and wife. I forget how emotional Russ could be and how heartfelt he is about many things and I saw that with uh, his vows to Pal today. He's just so, so sincere. You can yeah. tell, really tell that uh, they're in love. Mm -hmm. They are in love. They say love is blind, but with you, love's just fine. The weight off of my shoulders, it's gone. But as for the long run, what's next? We got a, a honeymoon to plan. When I started dating with Ross, I thought that I can't imagine a beautiful wedding with this guy. And this is gonna be forever. Oh my God. I'm getting married. Like now. And I think now the nerves are sitting like setting in. And you ready? Are you ready? You ready? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, the whole 90 days uh, thing, it was hard, it was very difficult at some points. But when she came around the corner and I saw her coming down to me, I know I made the right decision. 
am ready to say I do, and I'm ready to marry her, finally love my life. I did all this to get to this day, and I'm ready. Don't need a preacher to save my soul. That's it, I take her from here. Yeah. <laughs> I take her from here, that's how it goes. <laughs> I, that's it. <laughs> Blessed be all of you who come here today in the name of God. Lord and Alexei, it's been a journey, a journey across the world. But somehow, it was meant to be. And now in the presence of God in this assembly, do you, Alexei, take Lauren to be your wife, to love, to honor, and to cherish I do. Okay, we didn't hear you. I do. <laughs> Lauren, do you take Alexi to be your husband? I do. I do. Good, we heard it. And repeat after me. Be consecrated to me. Consecrated, consecrated to me. me. With this ring. With this ring. As my wife. As my wife. I am for my beloved. I am for my beloved. And my beloved is for me. And my beloved is for me. Wish them all the happiness in the world. Yeah, they look so they look so happy together. They really do. to get married in 90 days and we had a problem or two and a fight here or there but if I had to do it all over again I would do it in a heartbeat without a doubt it's yeah, it so wasn't worth easy it. but yeah it was worth it I had to go out my life Aww. Aww. thank you Let's go get our places. Let's make this happen. If you would have asked me a few weeks ago that I would be waking up today getting married to Annie, I would have said, no way. But she's getting ready to be my wife, and I am about to begin the second half of my life. There's no words to describe it. I'm disappointed that Ashley's not coming. Which way are we going in, this way or that way? But right now, my focus is on Annie and getting married. Ashley coming obviously was a big surprise because when I talked to her a very short time ago, she was at home. So I was not expecting her and showing up with my granddaughters was uh, pretty incredible to see. I am having a hard time keeping my emotions in check today. 
And it's just because I'm not happy about this. Like, I love my dad and I don't want him making stupid choices like this and just giving people free tickets into America just because he thinks he feels some type of way about them. I'm ready. No tickets for Thailand. <laughs> no tickets for Thailand. <laughs> my day's on. Everything is done. Look beautiful. Come to the wedding. <laughs> How are you? And then David's uncle walked me down the aisle. such a surreal situation. My heart was melting. It's almost like I was living in a dream. We have gathered here for the purpose of uniting David and Annie in the bonds of matrimony. I, David. I, David. Promise to be your loving and faithful husband. Promise to be your loving and faithful husband as long as we both shall live. All right, Annie, it's your turn. I promise. To be your loving. To be your loving. And faithful. And faithful. Wife. Wife. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Well, we just got married, and we had an incredible crowd of people here, friends, family. I don't know, I'm just so elated, so happy. I feel so excited, and no more freedom for me. <laughs> <laughs> You look good. Thank you. That's awesome. Happy Love birthday. You. <laughs> Love okay. you, but I don't support this. What a joke. What? Calm down. Let's Let's be a good have moment. Fun. Let's get a drink. Let's all have fun. Somebody could get stabbed in the face with a letter. Ass. Now I feel like I'm wasting my time here. It's my birthday. I'm and supposed to be enjoying play. my day. <laughs> I kind of feel that Ashley is jealous and hurt because she wanted the day to be more about her, but it's not her day, it's Annie's day. And right now, I just want to spend time with the family and friends that did come to celebrate with us. <laughs> For the first time as a married couple, David and Andy. David's uh, my best friend, so I just, I'm glad it all worked out. I think Annie looks amazing as a bride. I think our money did good. I like to think that it's gonna work out. So uh, now it's his turn to, to finish out his life. It has been a difficult path since we've been in America, and I think it has made us stronger, and I'm really looking forward to spending the rest of my life with her. I just want to wake up next to him every morning. The last of my life is what I want. I think that's good. <laughs> I think that's good for now. <laughs> Love how Dad still made this day about him and not my birthday. Like, I'm so pissed off. He wasn't there for my birthday. You don't even understand. Ed, he wasn't there and he promised me he wouldn't. Go back to Thailand exactly where the came from. Oh, I loved you! 
I don't feel too happy about the fact that it's my 28th birthday and he's marrying a 24 year old Thai girl today. Like, I, this is not where I wanted to be on my birthday. I should have been celebrating it with my family and the people who actually care. Sham of a wedding. Ashley's got her issues. It is what it is. Even though she doesn't love my wife, I'm thankful that my daughter was there tonight for me. <laughs> As we try to break up our relationship, but it's not work because our relationship is more stronger. The wedding is done now and soon. I am an American. I just hope you're happy with me and... I've never been happier in my life. Yeah, and we will have a great future together. <laughs> Let's get good. Get Mama's croissants. There's two. As we get closer to the ceremony, I keep thinking what a risk I'm taking in marrying Michael. Because there is a chance that we get married and Michael still won't be able to come to the US. But I know marrying Michael is the only way to be together in the United States. After the last time I saw Angela and Michael, I wasn't feeling fine. I wasn't feeling okay. Anything she says, she wants Michael to dance to her tune. I later agreed to come to the wedding because I told him, do you think this is what you want to do? And he gave me the answer, yes, that is what he wanted. And Michael is no more a child, so he can decide for himself. I don't want to spoil their wedding. Seeing Angela walking down the aisle, and it was so wonderful. I mean, Angela looks beautiful, sexy, young, adorable. You look handsome, honey. Before I proceed, I would like to inform you what the law does not permit any one of you to have another marriage. But I doubt we should disobey the rule. He or she has committed an offense called bigamy, which is punishable under Nigeria law, five years imprisonment, no option of fine. Okay. Please face each other. Unveil her, please. <laughs> Before me, I have Ken the Michael, the list for me, and Angela KD. We want to solemnize their marriage this evening. Michael, repeat that statement. Aye. Aye. Can you delay for me? Can you delay for me, Michael? Thank you. Thank you. Angela Dean. Angela K. Dean. To be my lawful wife. To be my lawful wife. Forsaking all other women. Forsaking all other women. The dead do us part. The dead do us part. Amen. Oh, gosh. Angela K. Dean. Repeat that statement. Aye. Aye. Angela K. Dean. Angela K. Dean. Take you. Take you. Candy, listen me, Michael. Candy, listen me, Michael. To be my lawful husband. To be my lawful husband. To love and to obey. What? To love and to obey. What? Yes. To love, to love and, and to obey. To obey what? To obey love. Husband. And obey who? <laughs> to love and other. Forsaking all other men. 
forsaken all other men. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Amen. I pronounce the two of you as husband and wife. Mr. and Mrs. Kende Michael Ilesomi, congratulations to you on your feet. I was like, just say it, let's get it <laughs> over with, obey. I was gritting my teeth like Albert, but in my mind, I'm thinking, no. On behalf of the Permanent Secretary of Marriages in Nigeria, I hereby present to you your marriage certificate. Congratulations. Look at the camera. Right now, <laughs> I'm standing next to my Yawomi, my wife. Can you believe you were married? Honestly. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> You thought being your fiance was hell? Mm. You ain't seen <laughs> yet. Come on. <laughs> Traditional Nigerian wedding, no. The groom showers the bride money, you no, know, to show love and happiness support. It's sweet and fun. Today was one of the most happiest days that I've ever seen Angela. And truly believe that they do both love each other. In case you don't know, I am Mrs. Alyssa Me. <laughs> but you know I'm wearing a crown, so I am the queen. What is a queen without a king? As me being your queen, I need you to be my king. So I'm going to crown you king. But you do remember, I am queen that crowns you king. <laughs> Thank you, baby. I love you. I love you, too. Michael and Angela wedding, it was lovely. I really want Michael to be happy. And with what I see at the party today, Michael is surely going to be happy with Angela. It was very, very hard. But being here and his family really made me forget that for a moment. God's grace, when I, when I get to the US, <laughs> we're gonna have a wedding together, you know? Be with your family, you know? Have fun. Thank you so much. I think Michael's had too much to drink. <laughs> no, I'm good, I'm good. You know he's not a drinker. No, I'm good, serious. I hope that works. Uh-uh. Because oh. you're drinking so much. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. We're not here, obviously. American to jump on Thursday. Today is the wedding ceremony. I'm feeling great. I'm very excited, actually. This is the moment when we are real. A big wedding, not the one that I had in America. That was just like a tease. Hello, look. All good? Good. Better than Charlie. <laughs> As of yesterday, I was not sure if I'm going to make it to this wedding today, but Elizabeth is happy. That means I'm happy. So we're a team. We're all good. Aww. There he is, the guy you're going to spend the rest of your life with. There's my husband. I'm coming. You're late, as always. Hey. Hey. You're always baby. Come here. No kissing yet. No, you're not allowed to touch her. You haven't said your I do's yet. She looks amazing. She looks gorgeous. <laughs> hey, baby. Nice, baby. Can we match? match? I think she's already Moldavian. Yeah. 
Congratulations, you converted her. <laughs> I did. Congratulations. I did. <laughs> I'm glad that you guys all came today. We're going to church right now, okay? Women side, like the women, we have to cover the heads. Okay. You know the rules. Yep. No laughing, obviously. No jokes inside. This is a serious stuff, so we need to make it as serious as possible, okay? Why is it so okay, serious? Jim. Because it's a church. Today's a special day coming to this ceremony, but I'm, I'm not forgetting what happened this week. And I really, really am going to hold his feet to the fire to respect our family. He's going to have to carry that over to America. Absolutely. You know. All right, guys, so the guests are going first, OK? Let's go. Wow. This place is amazing. That's beautiful. It's crazy. It's a lot of gold. Wow. This is beautiful. This is like a fairy tale. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Can come closer. I'm a bit overwhelmed with everything. I'm not sure exactly how the ceremony is going to go. Andre can't really translate right now because you have to be very quiet during the ceremony. Dumnezeu ne cel veșnic care pe cele despărțite le adun într-o unire și ai pus dragostea legătură neîntreruptă cel ce ai binecuvântat pe Isaac și pe Rebecca și pe robii tăi aceștia. Andrei și Elizabeta, povățuindu-i pe dâns și spre tot lucrul cel bun, că milostiv și viitor de oameni, Dumnezeu ești. Se logodește rog Dumnezeu Andrei, că rog Dumnezeu Elizabeta, în numele Tatălui și a Fiului și a Sfântului Duh, amin. Se logodește rog Dumnezeu Elizabeta, că rog Dumnezeu Andrei, în numele Tatălui și a Fiului și a Sfântului Duh, amin. I definitely have never been to anything like this ever in my life. So many different things about it in terms of like, they don't put the rings on each other. The priest comes and puts the rings on each of them. So yeah, it was definitely interesting to see. Se cunună robul lui Dumnezeu Andrei cu roaba lui Dumnezeu Elizabeta în numele Tatălui și a Fiului și a Sfântului Duh. Amin. Roaba lui Dumnezeu, Elizabeta, cu robul lui Dumnezeu, Andrei, în numele Tatălui și a Fiului și a Sfântului Duh. Amin. Încununează-i pe dânșe. Strâns pe toată viața. I'm going to have a tie tie all of a life. All of a life. certificații de numai o dată în viață și să-l păstrați până la sfârșitul vieții voastre, să treți în primul până la deci bătărnețe. Mersi. Amin. The ceremony was absolutely beautiful. It actually went by pretty fast, I think because I was enjoying it. And you look very handsome, baby. It was amazing. Come on, baby. <laughs> are you getting some, Dad? Mm hmm Snapping away. My parents are very grateful, but we have a Moldavian wedding. They got to see you get married, baby. Same woman, no divorce, double the marriage. Thanks, baby. That's pretty cool, right? Now it's over. We're officially married, babe. 
So now we get to go party. We, we get to reception go to our going reception. On. And I'm hoping that everybody will be on their best behavior. And it's going to be so many traditions. So we're going to have so much food. It's going to be fun. So let's go celebrate, actually, because go. we're going to have a party tonight. Yay. Let's go. Woo. Come on. So we went to our ceremony, and now we're here at our reception, and this is when the grand ball happens. Yes. Entertainment at Moldavian weddings are always a big thing. We have nice music, high-quality dancers and singers. It's going to be nice. Yep. We're ready to party. That was freaking amazing. That was great. All right, Charlie, Charlie you're <laughs> Andre and Libby's wedding is so over the top. The way that they were describing this reception was that it was going to kind of be low key and everything. And then we walk in, and it's like, oh, like this is where the f all the money is gone that my dad has given them. I feel like Andre's trying to impress everyone here back in Moldova. Like, look what I have now. Look what I have. And it's like, you don't. We do, our family does, but like, you don't. Is that like salmon? It's like raw stuff, dude. No, try the shrimp. So we're not doing that. The shrimp's cooked. Now, ladies and gentlemen, nice musica. to a wedding reception that they bring out dancers and they like go crazy and it's almost like a show like they know how to party <laughs> to Moldova, I really was expecting just a lot of um, poverty, a lot of sad people, and this wedding has been incredible. I am speechless. It's just been, like, unbelievable. So, be the time to make a surprise for you. Already? Yes. Uh, 
Where is my friend? Please, say after me. Me? Yes, you. Kolaku Mirese. I ripped 50% of the bread, baby. 50% of the bread means that I am half in charge in the household. So 50-50, yeah. baby. Equal rights in America, I right? don't understand the English. Love you. Bye. I don't understand. It's in a wedding, it's a show. Yeah. They, like, uh, coordinated everything. I mean, he, he could be royalty in Moldova, but he's a bitch-ass American. What? The king of the Moldova, not in America. Hey, listen. What's up? You chill, good? Chill, good? Chill, chill a little bit, because I don't, I don't want any, no fighting tonight, man. I'm not fighting. Just no. chill a little bit. Like, I, I'll speak my piece, and then, you know, we're good. We'll see. No, we'll see. I, th I think the way's uh, expensive, like, and it's like, um, my dad has like seven kids. So it's like, um, did you do this for every other kid? No, you didn't. So, you know, it's like, why are you doing this for him? Like, why, why? Bună seara la toți imitații. Vă mulțumesc frumos pentru prezență. Suntem cu ocazia căsătoriei și, Andrei, vă doresc multă, multă sănătate, casă de piatră, ca toată lumea. Vrem să le aducem o mică, o mică contribuție financiară. Și mă duc să... Fii ca spun și ce. Thank you, you too. You look different. <laughs> You're so short now. Yeah, I ain't taller than me. I saw you first time dressed up like that, and when I was walking to, and he had so much tight pants, and I was like, oh my goodness, this guy has so good ass, I never pay attention to that. Ready to go? We're late already. Let's we gotta get to the wedding. Let's go here. Uh, 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 you, you come here. Okay. Oh, are we late already? And now I feel much more calm because now Joe is with me and I feel feel much better. I don't feel nervous like I was feeling before. We look like we go to I don't know where. Yeah, we look like we're going somewhere special. <laughs> Ready to get married? No. Thank you. You want to open the door for me? Yeah, I'm going to open the door for you. With Jovi, nothing is easy and nothing is perfect. And even though I want Jovi to be a better husband, I still want him to be my husband. 
I just really hope that Joey is not lying and he will really do what he tells me. He will be a man like he's saying, he will do it. I really hope that he will change and he will be like this. He will be nice. All right, ready? I'm getting some jitters. I'm feeling nervous. I realize, like, this is it. This is for real. All right, me first. Hello, honey. How are oh you? Congratulations. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How are He's you? so tall. Where yeah. are you from? Ukraine. Ukraine, all right. We're going to get married by Elvis tonight, so it'll be interesting. I never expected this is the way I would get married, but it's going to be fun, and I hope Yara enjoys it. I saw a movie about Vegas and about people getting married, but I never saw something like this. It's a small job, but when it's a person who really looks like Elvis, it's just funny. It's a little different to me. It's a little cool. Hello. Oh, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Everyone, please rise for the bride. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Yeah! <laughs> Wonderful, you two. <laughs> Guests may be seated. We are in the City of Lights, Las Vegas, Nevada. We're here to celebrate Jovi and Yara. Marriage is a promise to communicate and to share, to treat each other with respect, to care and to listen to one another. If you two would face each other, you have a ring, Jovi, at this time? Yes, I do. All right, Jovi, you're going to take that ring. As you place it on Yara's finger, look her in the eyes and tell her, I take you, Yara. Yara, I take you. To be my loving wife. To be my loving wife. In good times and bad. In good times and bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For rich or for poor. For rich or for poor. For now and forever. For now and forever. And Yara, you have a ring for Jovi? Look him in the eyes and tell him, I take you to be my loving husband. I take you to be my loving husband. In good times and bad. In good times and bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer, for poor. For rich and for poor. For now and forever. For now and forever. Well, let me just say, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Kiss your bride, my friend. Let's hear it from everybody. <laughs> yeah. How does it feel to be married? I feel good. I'm happy she's still here today, and we finally tied the knot. It's so much hard to believe for me that I am married. Oh, my goodness. I'm so happy, but I don't get no presents yet. It's waiting for you. Where? Which is waiting for me? In your hotel room. I hope it's something good. It is. I hope so. I think the wedding went great. Finally done. Happy for them. Now we have a new daughter-in-law. What a baby coming now. Hopefully, they, they do well with all of this. <laughs> well, it finally happened. <laughs> did not think it would really happen, but it did. They made it. Woo! We'll see what happens. I think they, what, have a year and one day, so. A year and one day? Yeah. If they're married for a year and one day, she can stay in the country. <laughs> you already think about that? <laughs> well, no, I just researched it. Oh. Just in case, you just never know what's gonna go down. <laughs> Let's get moving. Let's go to the party. Let's okay. go. Party on. We have a lot to celebrate. It was not the wedding which I was wanting. I would really love for my family being there too. 
but it's definitely nice to be around all these loving people. And now that I'm here, it's actually not so bad. It's Jovi's family, but of course I understand that it's my family too now. Raise your drinks, guys! Yara, we welcome you into our family. Um, and we're just so glad that today happened and that you're with us today and always. And Jovi, I cannot say how proud I am of you. So don't f this up, right? Right! Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad the 90-day process is finally over. Next for us is this pregnancy and getting her green card and getting her moved over to the States 100%. But for now, I think me and Yara may stay a couple extra days in Vegas. I got an extra few days off of work, so we'll try to enjoy our time here. I'm going back to New Orleans, yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hola. Hola, amor. Vengo con tu... Pues vengo cargando, ayúdame. Gracias. Ken and I decided that it'd be best that we got ready separately, and we won't be seeing each other until we walk down the aisle at our ceremony. I wish I was getting ready with Kenny just because it makes it more stressful not to be together. But I do think that being with my family and getting ready will make us a little closer right before the wedding. It'll be an intimate moment for us. So I like that. Let's do a cheer, Tay-Tay. To a happy life filled with laughter and love and... All the good things. Yeah. Put it on the side. Cheers. Positive things. That's what we're about. <laughs> This is a big day for me. For one, I never really thought I could ever marry another man. So I never thought a wedding for me was ever in my future. And I really didn't know how badly I wanted it until I met Armando. How am I gonna get through this day? I was gonna <laughs> say, get it out um, now. <laughs> I'm accomplishing something that I never dreamed really that would be possible. Let's do a group hug to end this. Oh, my God. Ayúdenle a levantarle al lado. This is Truffle's dress. What? It is. She's wearing a dress. It's called a girl, so she's wearing a girl dress? Yeah, she is, because she's a girl. OK. I can't believe this moment has finally arrived. You ready to go? Do you got Truffles? Yep. Because we had to jump through a lot of hoops to be together. But at this moment, it's just kind of like coming to my head and my heart, everything that we've been through to get here, and we did it. That's a big dress. Hola. Hola. <laughs> I kind of have mixed emotions. I, I'm just happy I'm about to marry the love of my life. But me having this wedding, it's like a, a final coming out to all of my family members. And all attention is on us. I don't know what I'm more worried about, the kiss or the first dance. It'll be the first kiss they see between two men. So knowing that that's the case, it makes me a little nervous.
Armando and I decided to walk on the outside of the aisle to the altar because we both took different paths in our life to get to this point. We've had a lot of obstacles with his family, with me moving here, and fighting for our marriage license. But every roadblock that happened, we busted through it. We were meant to be together. We were meant to fall in love. We were meant to get married. You good? I just see Kenny, and I know I can leave behind all the stress and all the worries that I had before. I'm not worried about what anybody's thinking, and I'm, I'm about to marry the love of my life, and that's all that matters. You look great. Good afternoon to all. We are gathered here today to celebrate the marriage ceremony of Kenneth and Armando. Muy buenas tardes a todos. Estamos aquí reunidos para llevar a cabo la ceremonia matrimonial de Kenneth y Armando. No union is more profound than marriage. For it embodies the highest ideals of love, fidelity, devotion, sacrifice, and family. Before you declare your love, you both will say some promises to each other. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get through this. Kenny, <laughs> you came into my life at exactly the right time. You showed me from the beginning what love is. It is you that has taught me how to love myself and made me a more confident person. And for that, I am more than thankful. I pledge to commit myself to our family and the good I know will grow from it. I promise this all to you for eternity. Armando, today I stand before you, the luckiest man on earth. I have the support and love of my children. I have the man of my dreams, and I have never felt so loved in all my life. I chose to risk it all, leaving all I've known to get to you. And in the name of love, I dedicate my heart and soul to you. I will show you nothing but love until the end of time. I love you. I love you. Kenneth, do you accept Armando as your husband and favorite person to laugh with him, explore new adventures with him, support him in the most difficult moments of his life, be proud of him, grow old together, and find new reasons to love him every day? I do. And do you, Armando, accept Kenneth as your husband and favorite person? I do. Los declaro oficialmente casados. Puedes besar a tu esposo. You may now kiss. Woo! I will now present you, Mr. and Mr. Kenneth and Armando Niedermeyer Rubio. Namaste, Namaste, Namaste. 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 The wedding today is a Hindu style marriage where we follow the rituals required in order to get married. So, the well, first thing we have to do is like uh, we have to go and feed the Brahmin. After that, we'll uh, go ahead and do the marriage ceremony. Okay. Hey, 
take your shoes off and let's go. Hold this one. The Brahmins are the top priest people of the Hindu society. OK, do I start at the front? Yeah. By feeding them, like, uh, we're expecting uh, some blessings for our future. Hello. <laughs> so Sumit tells me that they are like gods, and so you want to make sure their bellies are full. No. OK. Nothing else? No. I'm going to take this food, and you're going to put one of each thing on their leaf. <laughs> it's not a plate. It's like a leaf. Roti? Rice? Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just following Samit and doing what he's doing. Oh, Danny, 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 Danny. Huh? He took his food away. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I just love something and when it's gone, I was thinking, like, what, what happened? Where'd the food gone all of a sudden? It's not like I did it on purpose. That was an accident. I, I didn't do it intentionally. <laughs> I'm very sorry. In the ancient time, if you did that kind of thing, like, he will make you something else, like... Uh, He'll make me something else? Yeah, by cursing you and make you animal or something. OK, so now what's next? The so next, so the actual marriage pro, uh, uh, process, we're going to start now. OK. Yeah. I'm not allowed to hug you, though, huh? No, the kissing or hugging is not allowed in, <laughs> okay. in front of everyone in Hindi. So many things have happened in our relationship to stop our marriage. And I didn't think it would ever happen, but we're finally here. And I'm so happy and I'm so excited. Let's get married. So, dear Eva, Mr. Sumit. Yes. OK, I welcome you. And your name is? My name is Jenny Hay. Are wow. <laughs> you spoke <laughs> Hindi so nicely and correctly. You are from America and welcome, madam. They all are blessing you. When I could see difference in age, she is 60, other one is 30. I was surprised. But if uh, they are prepared, they are ready, they are accepting each other, then why should others have any objection? Now the time has come. He, he is requesting you to stand up. In my first wedding, there's, uh, I think, near about 5,000 people were there. And here, I don't have anybody next to me, not even my friends. I prefer this one. Because I'm marrying with the lady I love. Gaudanam, Kanyadan Purvam, Gaudanam. Cow was being donated. By donating the calf to the priest, we are hoping that all the bad elements which may come into our life in future will go away. Cow is being donated. And uh, the Brahmins and the cow both will bless us on this important day. Now, wow, a very important part of the marriage. You are marrying whom you love. The both have won the hearts of each other. And when we win the heart, we forget age, we forget our country, because love is blind. You too, please repeat. I willingly, I willingly, I willingly accept, accept. You say Jenny and you say Sumit. And Jenny. Sumit. As my life partner. As my, As life, my partner. life partner. I promise. I, I promise. promise. Our two hearts, our two, two hearts, hearts will be, will be peaceful, peaceful and united. And united. Like two different waters, and like two, two different, different waters, waters, mixed in one, mixed in one. Lajahu.
from Jenny's scarf to my scarf is just a sign of that now we are connected with each other. Connected not just by the scarf, just connected by soul and for life. Please take round clockwise. Skirt. Come. We walk around the fire four times. We are taking pledge that we will stay together. We uh, keep loving each other. So we listen to each other, understand each other, and never uh, uh, disrespect each other. So we are uh, taking a pledge in front of fire, connected for life. Sounds good. So you both have to take seven steps. Without this, Indian marriage is incomplete. Okay. Isai Yakpa Bhav, please take first step. Om Urdhya Yudhya Bhav, second. Om Raya Sopa Satri Bhav, third. Mayo Bhava Chaswa Bhav, fourth. Each step you take, it's a promise, and then the next step is another promise. And you have to take those seven steps before you're officially married. Now we're taking opportunity to declare hereby, I authorize Jenny and Sumit as husband and wife. Thank you. Thank you. Finally. It only took nine, ten years, but yeah. we're we finally married. married. I mean, I know this is kind of a cliche, but today is absolutely the happiest day of my life. And my life, too. Yeah. Still, I have to face the criticism from the parents. Once they come to know, they will be mad. The good thing is, like, now they cannot stop me because it's already there. Now I'm married. something that, I, you know, I wanted to tell you. It's heavy, but I have to say this. <sighs> Down deep in my heart, I really do appreciate everything that you've done, not only for me, you know, raising my son. I knock off your daughter back in China. You accepted me in your house. You know, I traveled all the way from Africa. I didn't know where I was going to stay. It, this is, these are things that are very rare, you know. And I, I just want to say I'm grateful so much. Like, I thank you. My whole family say thank you. Everybody's just so grateful. Well, Thanks so here. much. This connection between me and David I, I never had a moment like this with my own father. That's why I want to tell David so much about this pregnancy. <sighs> but thinking of Emily as well, I feel like if I tell David now, I might betray her trust. You gave up everything to come here. Yeah. I don't think we haven't, you know, thought about that. So you're... Glad to have you part of the family, man. <laughs> All right. I don't know if me and David, we are still going to be this close after he finds out. But his action has proven to me that, you know, I belong here. He's my family, like he's my father over here in the United States. We love you, man. <laughs> There's so much we can talk from now until tomorrow. Let's... <laughs> you guys ready? Oh, Man, my goodness. this guy looking good. <laughs> Where's your bouquet? Okay. It's right here. Great. Go. To the limo. All right. Thank you, sir. I feel like at this moment, I've surpassed the level of having doubt. You know, it's for better, for worse right now. Oh, my goodness. It's my day, man.
We are gathered here today to give our support as Emily and Kobe unite their love in marriage. You didn't give up. And here we are today. So I'll have you repeat after me. I, Emily, take you, Kobe, to be my husband. I, Emily, take you, Kobe, to be my husband. <laughs> I, Kobe, take you, Emily. I, Kobe, take you, Emily. To be my wife. To be my wife. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and cherish always. To love and cherish always. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love for you. Let it be a reminder that I'm always by your side. Will you, Kobe, take this woman from this day forward to be your wife? If so, say, I do. I do. Will you, Emily, take this man from this day forward to be your husband? If so, say, I do. I do. <laughs> Emily and Kobe, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. <laughs> It's kind of crazy to think about that yeah. Emily's someone's wife now. Um, yeah, it's good feeling. It's exciting. We're married. Hey now, what are we all been waiting for? It's been a crazy two and a half months. All right, here, we're going to cut it here. I can't even believe we made it to this day because there were definitely points where I was questioning it. I just wish that they continue pushing each other and that they support each other because they are one now. And just to see that happen is really cool. Yeah, feed me a piece, I'll feed you a piece. Feed me! Now that the wedding is over, is it time to tell the family your secret? No. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the perfect time. It's, this is something. Not today. This is something I've been waiting. You know, I've heard this. It's really heavy on me. I can continue living in your father's house, looking at him. Just relax. It's no, gonna I, be fine. It's, it, it quit sounds, looking at him. It sounds easy. And you won't feel bad. It sounds easy to you, but. I cannot, honey. Please. Mm. I just hope you can understand me. And we agreed on after the wedding. Like, maybe the next day I'm going to tell him. Don't pull me apart. <laughs> You know, growing up, I would see my parents and just how they interact and the love that they have for each other. At a very young age, I wanted to get married. Look beautiful. So, seeing her walk down the stairs in her beautiful wedding dress, it was something that I would cherish and remember for the rest of my life. You all may be seated. We began with Allah's name, the merciful benefactor, the merciful redeemer. And in our tradition, we're celebrating what we call a nikah, and the nikad literally means to tie a knot, to bind together. We're going to start with you, 
Sister Shida, you want to stand up? In our tradition, we ask the these two if they want to accept each other as husband and wife three times. But if you ask three times, you know you're sure. But it also represents marriage on three levels, the mind, the physical aspect, and the soul. So, Sister Shida, do you take Bilal as your lawful wedded husband under the laws and the principles of al-Islam and the established practices of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? I do. Okay, so everybody heard that. She said it once. We're going to do it again. Do you, Shida, take Bilal? I do. For the third time, to make sure, because everybody, everybody here wants to make sure that you're sure <laughs> to bind this thing together. This is your last time. Do you take Bilal to be your lawful wedded husband under the laws of the United States of America, the laws of Islam, and the established practices of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? I do. All right. <laughs> It's been a rocky road when it comes to finding love, and I was never the type of person that wanted to settle. I wanted to wait until I make the right decision with the right person. And to go through so much, like this is the man that I've waited for my entire life. Bilal, do you take Sister Shida to be your lawful wedded wife under the laws of the United States of America? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you accept Sister uh, Shada is your lawful wedded wife? Yes, I do. Okay. You, Bilal, do you take Shida to be your lawful wedded wife in the laws of Al Islam? I do. All right. So, so we have officially three yeses on both sides, and you have me as the officiating of this ceremony to make it official that these two now have tied the knot. I was married now. Wow. They must have overcame all of the obstacles. I remember when they were in Atlanta, and you know, when I dropped them off at the airport, they were really kind of like going through some things. I was wondering if they were really gonna make it. You know, the prenup thing was like a really big deal. You know, thing, you know, the baby issue was another thing. And so it was just like a lot. Two, three. And so to actually see them up there at the altar and smiling at each other and seeing that things worked out, I was really happy about that. <laughs> well, we got to sign. You want to sign any like, marriage license now? Um, yeah, so sign that first. They both seem like really like happy for each other. Ever since she's come to America, she's always been like really kind. Um, and my dad has been like more happy. Yeah, I definitely seen that my dad has been more happy. I feel like she's a great addition to the new household. Did your brother fall asleep during the ceremony? No. He did. I did not. He definitely did. Um, what <laughs> happened, I was concentrating. Were you concentrating with your eyes closed? No. I had my eyes open, maybe. <laughs> Um, I do have a gift I would like to give you as well. Oh. So this is, um, it actually has more sentimental. Um, this was something that my father gave my mother. Oh, wow. And uh, it's in Latin. In English it says, I will never give up on you. And on the back it says, and you will never give up on me. <laughs> so. The moment I got off the plane, I didn't think I would have made it here. Like, in the, at the airport, yeah. In that truck, nah. <laughs> <laughs> there was definitely a lot of ups and downs, for sure, you know. Um, but I'm, I'm the type of person, though, that uh, I'm, I'm not a quitter. So uh, I think if this wouldn't have worked, it would have been her giving up versus me giving up. You see, that's not fair. He always does the things to make me look bad.
what the future look like together. I hope Bilal and I could work on our communication as we get to know each other more. I hope I will um, be a mother soon. Like it's so important for me to have children. And I hope you could like, you know, want to be a dad sooner than later. A, a dad for the third time, you mean? Want to be a dad again sooner than later. There's a saying in our, our religion, you know, that we plan and God plans, and he's the best of planners. Mm -hmm. So um, he definitely planned this. We are going to retreat. Love you guys. <laughs> Tonight is the night of our wedding, and it's gonna be a long night with lots of ceremonies. I am feeling a luckiest person because I'm going to marry the love of my life. Yeah. So today's night starts with Bharat, and Bharat is a procession where a groom's family dance with the bands and music, and usually the groom is on the horse. Our family is very happy and very excited about tonight. It's our family's first big fat marriage and it will be very, very exciting. I was expecting people to dance, but they were a bad dancer. I don't know, my family doesn't have any dancer. They don't have beats, they don't have steps. The guys were doing like this. And I was like, it's terrible. <laughs> yeah. So when I get off from the horse, Kimberly's dad and mom supposed to welcome me. Here. Woo! Thank you. Please. One. One. Yeah, come on. Two. Yeah, three. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bride's mom pinches, the groom's nose. It's just like uh, a sweet tradition. Fireworks around me, a light around me. I'm very pumped up right now. Millions of reasons to be happy today. You hold my hand. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. They're looking very gorgeous. Hi. Hi. I feel like I might be getting more nervous as the time passes, but I am ready to marry TJ. Here comes the bride. All dressed in pink. I think I just stepped in something and I hope it don't stink. <laughs> this is definitely my favorite outfit out of all six wedding dresses. It's got to be him next to me. He should be the only one. In India, traditionally, the bride's brothers or sisters would walk her down the aisle. But the one thing I wanted was my dad to walk me down the aisle. He's my biggest supporter. And it's the Western tradition that I really want to hold true to. Going this way or that way? So I get onto the garden. And I was under the impression me and my dad would walk down the aisle together. I didn't think there would be 10, 15 people walking in with us. And then my stepmom kind of got pushed to the back there for a little while, which hurt my feelings. If I had my way with you, we'd never leave. And then I see TJ on the stage, and I'm like, He's what I'm doing this for. When I'm around you, boy, feel myself dreaming. He's everything. And I love him. In a place that doesn't know me, in a place where no one knows who I am.
It's my everything coming to me. You are the best part of the marriage, looking so beautiful. The way she is looking at me and the, uh, the way I am looking at her, I think that makes sense for the wedding. Yeah, we were beautiful. <laughs> look at them. They look like friends and friends. The first thing bride and grooms does to exchange a jamana. This is the commencement of the Hindu marriage. I feel really excited. I'm going to be with the man I want to spend the rest of my life with. It just seems like a fairy tale coming true. We'll go out and get lined up, because we're like eight minutes. You ready? Let's go. We can do it, we can do it. Let's go, let's go. OK, come on. So we're getting started. If y'all want to go ahead and take a seat, then we're good. We waited uh, almost two years for this moment. I can't believe. Me too. I'm just happy it's finally here. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? No. Who presents this woman to be married today? Her mother and I. Dear friends, thank you for joining us today to witness this beautiful couple enter into marriage. Today is all about love, a universal language that binds everyone together. What better example of this than Devin and Nick's relationship? They come from different parts of the world. They speak different languages. They are accustomed to different cultural practices. Yet these differences have only grown them closer together through their respect for each other. I pray we will all continue to support them on their journey of marriage, which begins today. Nick. Please place that ring on Devin's left finger. <laughs> Do you, Nick, with this ring, take Devin to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Devin, place that ring on Nick's left finger. Do you, Devin, with this ring, take Nick to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. By the virtue and authority vested to me under the laws of the state of Arkansas, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.
I just married my husband, Nick, and I feel pretty good about it. <laughs> I just married my wife, Devin. I feel good. Us getting married, it's very exciting. It feels like a fairy tale. And then my parents surprised us with a sunset helicopter ride. To be honest, I'm very scared. Are you? ups and downs uh, as a couple. Uh, what kept us together is trust, respect, love, those things, I believe. Even though we've only known Nick for a few weeks in person, to watch them get to this point... It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> And during this 90 days, we've really got to know Nick, and uh, we can't be more excited. What the hell? All right, let's send him. What is this? My hopes and dreams would just be to have a future together, to stay together. Let's go. And have a nice life. That's all I want too, so we're gonna be together forever.